good morning everybody good morning students we are just continuing the first class about um, this is second class uh, just continuation of the initial various definition for herbal drugs technology <coughs> just we want to discuss about that uh, last class we have discussed about uh, about various definitions which comes under cultivations of uh, and uh, preparation uh, we did not discuss about the processing and another in cultivation also some few um, some words and some uh, specific uh, um, materials which have been used for uh, cultivation of herbal medicines so that what we are going to discuss today regarding about um, that things uh, as we have as i said before this is lecture 2 for this herbal drug technology in which uh, we have already seen some terms apart from that some of the terms which is necessary for us to know in herbal drug technology during collection and harvesting and the preparation of drugs for various formulation of dosage forms in herbal formulation terms related to medicinal plants cultivation and collection activities same like good manufacturing process in agriculture here also we are following many uh, specific parameters according to the guidelines given by who and erosion we know that erosion very commonly we used to use erosion this is a very common thing which happen usually in while cultivating normal foodstuffs and also in Uh, medicinal plants so erosion means what is erosion the process whereby water or wind moves the soil from one location to another so how it moves from one location to another it also varies according to the depth and as well as how it is moving or taking away the erosion taking place in the soil of the cultivation land so here the first one is sheet and rill sometimes we used to, what do you mean by sheet and rill you can see the picture it's like a sheet like a thin layer it will be the ground will be taken off by the flow of the water in the rainy season and sometimes some the season it will be taken away a uh, generally washing away of a thin uniform sheet of soil or removal of soil in many small channels or in insertion caused by rainfall or irrigation which run off sometimes rainfall or sometimes even irrigation sometimes when you put some water with force and forget to put off or something it may also take a thin layer uniformly a sheet of soil may be taken away it's an erosion it cause damage to the uh, cultivation land so this is sheet and a rail or a rail sheet or rail it can be sheet and rail or sheet or rail gully means you can see that is how depth that you can see the people are watching immediately by means of heavy rain or a natural calamity causes gully 
in a cultivated land like this sometimes it happen in a slope area channel or insertion cut by concentrated water high water flow runoff after heavy rains may cause this type of gully you can see the picture how deep and it has been taken away the soil of the cultivation land see next one is ephemeral ephemeral what is the difference between this gully ephemeral and the sheet and rill it is slightly little deeper than the rill or the sheet but not as much as by as gully so that's what you can see it's also a erosion in the cultivation land a water worn worn means taking away or removing the soil on short lived or seasonal insertion wider deeper and longer you can see the picture wider deeper and longer than a rill or sheet but shallower it is smaller than shallower and smaller than a gully gully is little more bigger you might have seen just before slide is gully so that's the difference of three types of erosion three types of erosion so this is some definitions and words which you should know about cultivation of herbal plants okay and wind also sometimes causes this damage of erosion sometimes you can see it carries away the dust and the sediment over the plants not only erosion it may sediment you can see the plants you cannot see its like a reddish color there is green and dead but actually the plant is covered by the sand by means of wind so a carry away the dust and sediment by wind in areas of high prevailing winds or low annual rainfall also cause this type of wind carrying the soil and put it over the plants grown in the cultivated area and you should know about this integrated pest management we are going to study about the pest management also but this is simply we are studying about the various terms integrated pest management is very important for any type of cultivation of medicinal plants and even agricultural cultivation by means of good manufacturing process are the guidelines given by the who so you can see in integrated pest management ipm the carefully integration of a number of valuable pest control techniques that discourage pest population develop and to keep pesticides and over interventions to levels that are economically justified and safe for human health and the environment human health and environment that's what we have to remember about how to use the pesticides whenever you are using it should be considered about the social life and the health of the human being an ipm that means integrated pest management emphasizes the growth of a health crop health crop with the least disruption to arago eco ecosystem so thereby encouraging natural pesticide mechanism is was the it will encourage when you are using integrated pest management we will talk about that and a picture also which shows you very clearly prevent the building up of pest that is a main motto key concept of ipm that is integrated pest management is first one is prevent the build up of the pest 
second one is monitor crop for pest and natural control mechanism and the third one you have to when control measures are needed intervene when the control measures are needed that is what integrated pest management strategy that is the definition and now we are coming to land race that is last class also I was telling about land race is one word we will remember to read as a definition because in the last class itself we were talking about this at the seed time and the breeding time how the cultivation time we were telling about land race take a land race land race is genetic character you can see the plant genetic resource and early cultivated form of a crop species evolved from a wild population and generally composed of a heterogeneous mixture of genotypes. The plant genetic resource of reproductive or vegetative propagation materials of five needed one is cultivated varieties cultivars knows that in current use and newly developed varieties and obsolete cultivars that means the which is not at all used for long years which has been used but nowadays we are not that is a very rare species absolute cultivars primitive cultivars can be found at land races which can be formed by genetic coding wild and weed species near relative of cultivated varieties and special genetic stocks which include the light and current breeders lines and mutants see the picture it will give some more idea toesnite just two spaces taken the coding you can see the lines which i have given how they are mixed up to form a change the genetic code demonstration and land trace is formed and that land trace when you take for breeding you are getting a new modern maize from the cultivated varieties and absolute varieties which stating that Tiosnite it is just in the picture. So, the intercoding of the genetic characters and developing in the tissue culture you can form a modern maize with the help of farming land rays. So, what do you mean by land rays? <coughs> land rays are the genetic code changed plant that means a plant genetic resource an early cultivated form of a crop species evolved from wild population and the general composed of heterogeneous mixture of genotypes or you can take cultivated variety and an absolute absolute not absolute obsolete cultivars species or a wild or a weed species which can form a land land race. This is what you have to remember a word. And what do you mean by propagle is also another word which is used usually in the cultivation of medicinal plants and even even in the tissue culture also when we might have come across this word. See using a stem or a shoot system stick or a seed or a leaf formation of a plant any structure capable of giving rise to a new plant by asexual or sexual reproduction including even bulbs leaf buds etc as shown in the picture we can expect a plant can be developed from this unit so when you come to the next 
definition about standard operating procedure SOP an authorized written procedure giving instructions for performing an operation is a SOP sustainable use the use of components of biological diversity in a way and at a rate that does not lead to the long term decline or biological diversity thereby maintaining its potential to meet the need and aspiration of present and future generation that is called sustainable use so these all are some of the terms which you have to remember about the herbal drugs technology and now plain plant maintenance and protection some of the words which you have to remember the growth and development characteristic of individual medicinal plants as well as the plant part dis destined for medicinal use should guide field management practices the timely application of the timely application of to maintain and the protection to maintain the plant the timely application of measures such as topping bud nipping pruning and shading may be used to control the growth and the development of the plant you see topping dub uh, that is bud nipping pruning shading this all should be done to control or to develop the growth of the plant thereby improving the quality and even the quantity of the medicinal plant material being produced you see the picture topping means cutting of the top of the stem cutting of the top of the stem by means of an scissors which is specially made for the plants top splitting of the stem splits the top will be splits into two as shown in the picture see here bud nipping the bud will be nipped off even by means of a small cutter or a scissors specially made shading greenhouse shading you can see the shading for certain plants control of the sunrise pruning as if you can see the cutter can be used or the special scissors for pruning the controlling the growth of certain plants pruning usually done for tea leaves most of our students may be knowing about this because we are from high range area we know how pruning is made even about the shading budding nipping these all things we know that bud nipping and see collection of herbs for the collection of medicinal plants a proper time should be selected herbs are selected for collection at a stage when they yield maximum amount of chemical constituents that's what our aim it's an important we should know that maximum amount of chemical constituents skilled labor skilled collector skilled ability person skilled person skilled labor should be employed as they are trained to identify and select the herbs at a proper stage the age of the plant also plays a vital factor for their selection so the age of the plant herb plays a vital and important role or important factor for their selection disease plants should be rejected season of collection should also be given due consideration 
while selecting the plants for collection. So now we are coming to processing actually. There are primary processing and secondary processing is also there after collection before entering into the use of the herb drugs for formulation because we are talking about herbal drug technology. So it involves all herbal cultivation, collection and how they are prepared maybe into different formulations and what all the sectors which is come across this plant cultivation, collection and preparation. We are giving more importance and emphasis because as I told from the beginning last class, now the depending on the nature and the herb drugs are more and over the world, most of the developed countries, 80% of the people are trying to treat the various ailments, various diseases, various complexes, everything by means of herbs as we believe that. It has less side effects. It is true and it is practically proved by means of using herbal formulations and herbal herbs. So, processing of herbal raw materials, processing of herbal raw materials involves various stages from which the crude drugs undergo after harvesting which are further subcategorized as follows primary processing and secondary processing. In primary processing, grabbing, washing, parboiling, leaching, drying and in secondary processing, cutting or sectioning, aging, keeping, storing, or sweating, it's the name, backing or roasting, boiling or steaming, stir frying, fumigating, extraction. So, now we are going to see all this small, small definitions whatever we have given. Just we have to have a discussion about that. These all are commonly which we are doing as we are doing in our home or in the nearby home, but nowadays it becomes a trade and also it becomes a technology now and it becomes a, a, as a more profitable business, profitable uh, agriculture, profitable production of medicinal plants which helps the agriculturist or the cultivators to earn more and as well as the interest of cultivating medicinal plants have been been more extended in nowadays the recent years. First we will go for grabbling. What do you mean by grabbling or garbling sorry not grabbling you can say garbling not grabbling grabbling I was telling it is garbling garbling or sorting out sorting out this process helps to ensure the purity and the cleanliness of the harvested material or broad material or collected material, harvested material, dirt like soil, dust, impurities like insects, dead tissues and residual non-medicinal plants are separated from the raw materials. Washing, you know that washing, that is washing also after separating or after grabbling the herbal raw material should be cleaned well to remove the traces of remaining soil, dirt and other impurities from the surface. The roots, rhizome and the tuber are washed with clean water. During the washing process, scrapping and brushing may necessary. Parboiling, parboiling or it can be said that the spelling is there that is it can be called as bleaching also bleaching B R E not A it is bleaching not blatching it is bleaching but it is 
for boiling after washing certain herbal raw materials need to undergo for boiling process in which they are put in boiling water for a short period this may help in improving the storage life or the raw material and prevent insect mold insect or mold contamination bacterial contamination growth of bacterial contamination it may also facilitate in further processing such as removal of stubborn stick and very strong impurities as well as outer coat can be bleached off covering of raw materials can be removed by means of parboiling please listen students in this slide bleaching b l e in not blanching bleaching b l e or blanching bleaching or blanching you can say blanching you can say s t e or a you can say not bleach bleach not blay you can say e and a can be added blanching bleaching not you are not using any chemicals or you are not using any type of uh, uh, calcium uh, oxide or calcium chloride or we are not using any type of uh, um, which you are using bleaching powders or bleaching agents we are not using here but it is you can say it's somewhat removing that's why i want to use ea is the right word i feel blanching b l e a you can add ea and leaching leaching is different and blanching or bleaching is different that is for boiling process where you are putting in a boiling water but this leaching is occurring in certain area where they are cultivating suppose if it is rain water runs through the soil suppose if there is a, a water staggering or a pond or a or a river nearby the cultivation land may leach out leach out remove the nutrients of the soil especially nitrogens nitrites no3 can be removed which is necessary for the growth of the plant so for that we should have in that buffer area we should have some plantation might have made for leaching to prevent leaching usually in cultivation they used to grow some alfalfa alfa plants and there are certain plants says, which can be grown and it can be taken for cattle field but it will help for the cultivation of other medicinal plants in the cultivation land that's what leaching is one process which can be controlled by growing in the sides or in the in the in the fencing of the cultivation land so some impurities can be re removed by subjecting the plant materials under running water known as leaching however the during leaching should be controlled to prevent the loss of chemical constituents present in the drug this is you are doing leaching after collection but during collection but during uh, cultivation we have seen in the previous class i have shown about alfa alfa plant which was grown to control the leaching of the soil so here after collection you are doing the same technique to leach out some impurities which may be present in the collection plant i was telling about leaching what is the process which we have done in the previous class for cultivation just refer just go and see my previous lecture there we have talked about alfa alfa plants which are grown in the sides of the cultivation land to prevent the leaching in the buffer area of the cultivation land so in this that same leaching word we have used here for collection of the plants after cultivation also to remove certain impurities which may be adhered to the collected products 
Drying is also one of the process which is very commonly we used to carry out. You can see in some cases the plant material should be thoroughly dried. If the moisture is there, mold will come. If moisture is there, bacterial growth will be there and deterioration, even moisture can deteriorate the active principles. Enzymes can be destroyed and sometimes the active activity, therapeutic activity will be lost from the particular herbal medicine or particular medicinal plants which you have been collected and stored. So, it should be dried after washing in order to prevent the deterioration and the degradation of the active constituents. They must be dried as soon as possible to remove the moisture and to reduce the damage by micro infestations or infestations, micro invasions, microorganisms growth in that particular plants, particular, particular drug, raw drug which you have collected. Drying also prevents the activation of certain enzymes which may otherwise degrade the active ingredients and also facilitate grinding. It helps for grinding once you remove the moistures and milling to pulverize, to communicate or to size reduce into powder form of the raw material. Depending on the drug and the nature of ingredients, different drying method can be used which is which are as follows which I mentioned one is natural drying. Natural drying, sun drying, keeping the material in the sun, most herbal raw materials can be dried in open air under direct sunlight, sunshine provided the climate is suitable. The duration of drying process depends on the physical structure of the plant material and weather conditions. That is very important for you to go for direct sun drying, natural drying. Shade drying is also coming under in the natural drying, shade, in the shade. Some medicinal plants cannot be directly exposed to the sunlight. Hence, need to be dried under shade. Thus, color, volatile oil and aromatic components are being evaporated. Artificial drying. Drying by artificial heat to remove rapid than open air drying and is necessary in rainy season and regions where there is high humidity. The temperature and equipments used for drying depends on the physical and the chemical nature of the drug and its constituents. Various equipments such as tray dryers, spray dryers, you might have studied all these things in your unit operation or in your pharmaceutical technology in your second year. Spray dryers, tray dryers, vacuum dryers which can be used for in low temperature you can remove moisture. So that you, the, the degradation of the active principle can be prevented or used. Overheating may lead to excessive loss of volatile components as well as decomposition of chemical constituents. The temperature should be kept below 60 degrees centigrade wherever possible when you are going for artificial dry. Secondary processing, in secondary processing, the secondary processing differs from the one herb to another depending on the nature of active ingredients as well as therapeutic properties. Cutting section and the commuting, 
it is communicated they used to say our community communicating means actually it's a word coming across you might have studied in pharmaceutical technology especially the pulverization size reduction otherwise it is called communicating communicating or commune communicate it communicate the, the size reduction reduce the size pulverization so that can be called as communicating or section sectioning cutting plant materials that's why cutting sectioning by means of knife cutting you can say you might have studied the four principle cutting impact impact com uh, compression cutting compression impact and attraction cutting compression impact and if this is like this then you will say attraction so these are the four principle you might have studied in your pharmaceutical technology for size reduction that's what i want to say community after thoroughly drying the herb materials are processed by cutting and sectioning into smaller sizes and are convenient for storage as well as uh, as well as for extraction too various sizes can be obtained depending on the part of the herb and extraction method used it may be small particles coarse powder or fine powder aging and sweating what do you mean by aging and sweating aging refers to shorting the raw material for a specified time after harvesting it is generally done under sun or in shade for up to a year up to a year just you see aging and the sweating is needed for certain drugs for to maintain their constituents effect and also to get the effect also sometimes aging and the sweating is needed during the process of aging excessive water is evaporated and enzymatic reaction may occur alter even the enzymatic reaction constantly you are keeping covered by woolen pack and you are keeping for one year is a certain temperature for one year and certain months if you keep the enzymatic reaction may occur to alter the chemical constituents of herbal material it is an advantage and sometimes it is used for certain uh, <coughs> chemical changes certain changes in the constituents and to have an effective material certain examples i have given one example is cascara bark should be aged for at least one year for their use prior to the use of the medicinal preparation to reduce its irritant effect so its irritant effect will go off when you give this keeping in a, for aging or or you can see sweating sweating is done by subjecting how you are doing this cascara bark sweating is a herbal materials at a temperature between 45 to 65 degree centigrade with high humidity for a period of ranging from one week to few months you have to keep the herbal materials are stacked between woolen blankets or other kind of cloth woolen cloth or other kind of cloth is covered and it will be kept for one year the sweating process is considered a hydrolytic and oxidative process in which some of the chemical ingredients of herbs are hydrolyzed or oxidized this is what an example for our cascara another one example also you can see the picture which i have shown beans vanilla beans you can see the color how they are seeing after he subjected for two months for uh, keeping inside for in the sheet or drying and they are keeping for storing purpose vanilla beans are subjected to sweating this is called sweating sweating or aging between woolen blanks and about 2 months during which they loses up to 80 percentage of the weight and they can be stored develop a characteristic desirable color and odor so this is what an example of going for it banks 
banking or backing not banking backing or you can say roasting backing or roasting in the secondary processing it is a process of drug heating where the herbal medicine is heated in ovens the temperature of heating and during of backing or you can say baking also not backing baking roasting baking baking you can say instead of backing actually baking baking or roasting vary from one herbal material to another until the drug develops a specific odor example nutmeg nutmeg you might have studied nutmeg stimulant it is a roasted till they turn to yellow brown color boiling and steaming another process in boiling process the drug is cooked in water or any other liquid solvent such as vinegar wine milk or animal urine example for animal urine acorus calamus rhizomes is boiled in cow's urine to enhance its anti coagulant effects the anti coagulant effect of that particular rhizome of acorus calamus rhizome is just put in the cow urine and boiled so in the steaming process the herbal material is kept in contact with steam using a steamer process the herbal material is kept and contact with the steam and steamer resulting in development of moist texture it development of moist texture so another one example example of polyganium multi forum are steamed in the presence of black bean decoction to enhance the tonic effect enhance its tonic effect vitamin f effect tonic effect you can see the two samples of the plants which i have shown you that is polygonum multi for foramen is an is an is a chinese plant which you said is also an uh, a rhizome which you can see that how it is and also you can see this one a rhizome acorus calamus rhizome which is put in the cow urine and boiled so that it gets anti coagulant effect has been enhanced so that's what we have to know about what is the use of this backing boiling in cow urine example stir frying what do you mean by stir frying it's also second processing it is a process in which the herbal materials are put in a pot a frying pan and not of pot or frying pan you have to write or not of or frying pan and continuously stirred or tossed for a specific period under heat until the external color changes for the crude drug charred or even carbonized to facilitate uniform heating the drug material can be ad admixed with sand talc or clay example liquorice root and rhizome are stirred fried with honey they are sweetening agents it can be fried and it can be rhizomes can be added with honey before they are going for medicinal use fumigation sometimes the harvested raw materials are subjected to fumes fumigation with sulfur dioxide is commonly employed to some not or for some yeah, not f is missing that is t o r not f o r for some or to some you can say for some medicinal herbs for the purpose of preservation the color or preventing the color preservation of the color improved appearance bleaching and preventing the growth of insects and 
molds. So this is about the secondary processing and in that last extraction of the herbal materials also comes under the secondary processing. You are going to extract certain materials, certain dr drugs. So extraction is a process of separation in which the chemical constituents present in the plant and tissues are removed by using selective solvents which is called as menstruum. Menstruum you might have come across in the maceration, percolation when you are studying in pharmaceutics your teacher might have told about menstruum. Press the mark and remove the menstruum and go for a second maceration. So menstruum that is the called the solvent which is used as a menstruum. Herbal extracts include powdered extract. The herbal preparation so obtained may be readily for the use as medicinal agent or it may be further processed to finished products such as tablet, capsule and the pills. So some of the extraction, what are the extraction which is available, the, the, the product or the, or, the, or, the, or the form of extract which is available in the herbal drugs, that is infusion. It is a liquid preparation obtained by extraction herbal materials with either cold or hot water without boiling, without boiling. So cold percolation. Remember about the cold percolation, cold maceration, solvent may also be used. Decoction, decoction, it is liquid preparation obtained by boiling, like tea preparation, boiling the herbal material with water. Fluid extraction, it is a liquid preparation obtained by maceration or percolation of herbal alcohol. The ratio will be one part of liquid contain one part of herbs. That is one is to one alcohol and uh, herbal crude drugs like Arista, Aswa, which you have studied. Tinges, it is a dilute alcoholic extract at herbal material typically made up of OFF made up of or made made up of part made up two parts sorry made up of only it's the spelling mistake made up of part of the herbal material with 5 to 10 parts of the solvent with 5 to 10 parts of the solvent please correct it off powdered extracts is a form of extract herbal preparation which is process into dried granulated of powdered materials and this is what I have taken for your uh, the second lecture and we will continue the next class about the various introduction part only we are just going on regarding herbal drug technology we should know various terms which is used and also what I mean by pest and pest control also some of the things we cannot go for the full details but at least we have to go for a definition level we have to know then only we can go for production of medicinal plants to utilize in herbal drug technology. Thank you. Thank you for being with me listening.